Okay, right, well that's just about the end of the lecture. Notice the, the beautiful colour here, the acid from the sulphur dioxide has changed the colour of the rose. Everything that we've been using, we've started from natural materials, but we've been extracting chemicals from these. Our whole world is all about chemistry, okay? So don't go away with a nasty image of chemicals. Okay, there are all sorts of chemicals all around us. Now, I've got a couple more reactions just to finish with. Well, we have a rocket here, and this rocket has been filled with nitrocellulose. So cellulose is actually just, well, cotton, essentially, and we've treated this with nitric acid and sulfuric acid to lock into the structure some of these nitro groups, and this causes it to burn very, very violently. So hopefully it should be able to launch our rocket. There's no guarantee, but let's give it a go. So are we ready? <laughs> well, it, it's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, think, I think my rocket sort of uh, didn't quite make it, but there we go. Okay, most of them did, but anyway. Um, just to finish with the very, very last reaction then, uh, we have some gunpowder on the track here. So remember, the gunpowder is a mixture of sulphur, perfectly natural, charcoal that we started the lecture with, and the scrapings from the stable wall, the saltpeter. So the gunpowder is on the track here, but just to make it a little bit more interesting, we've got some beautiful Easter chicks to put on the gunpowder. <laughs> After all, it is coming up to Easter. And the Easter chicks are made of nitrocellulose. <laughs> OK. So what we're going to do, we're going to light the gunpowder, and they'll gradually burn, and eventually it should get the little Easter chicks. OK. Well, actually, we'll just turn him round so, so he can watch. <laughs> Okay, right, so let's light the gunpowder. There it goes. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.